emanating from the air over there, and that's because the gala uh, chorus, uh, which is the Gay and Lesbian Association of Chorus, have been performing. There are 164 gay and lesbian choruses from all over the world here in Montreal this week. And we have a special guest in studio with us this morning. Scott Pirro is a member of the New York City Gay Men's Chorus. And thank you very much for being here. Good morning. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Tell us about the Gala Association. What, what exactly, why was it devised? Well, it started in 1982. There were 14 original choruses, and they've, hold, they've held seven festivals so far. And um, it was just, you know, I think the legend is that the San Francisco group was the first, and they got together because there was a, a tragedy, an assassination of their mayor and another activist, Harvey Milk. And a group of men just showed up on the steps of City Hall to sing. And uh, it was powerful, and they went on a tour, and uh, it's uh, and it's spread, and uh, you know now there's more than 200 gay and lesbian uh, choruses all around the world. That's incredible, and you're all linked through through a network. I mean, you all. Yes, we all have our own individual concerts. Okay. I mean, I know in New York we do three a year: a holiday concert, a springtime concert, and then a pride concert. Um, but they get together every four years for the Gala Festival. This is the seventh such festival. And you guys specifically have performed with some huge stars. We have. We perform with beloved pop icon Cyndi Lauper. Yeah. R&B diva Patti LaBelle. And um, opera star Marilyn Horn, too. And what's that like? Um, great. I wasn't a member, so I didn't perform with any Aww. of those. But I performed with Greg Louganis, actually, the American uh, Olympic sing? diver. No, he narrated a piece we did, oh. um, Oliver Button is a Sissy, which is a... <laughs> It's a children's story, yeah. sort of meant to teach, you know, pride in, in who, who you are. And um, Greg did a fantastic job narrating that piece for us last oh, year. Oh, that's lovely. Do you know which Canadian groups are performing uh, this year? Yes, there are 14 Canadian groups that are uh, members of GALA. Some of them have already performed this week. Um, later today, the um, Rainbow Chorus of Waterloo Wellington will be performing at 545. Okay. And on Saturday, four other groups will perform. There's Olay, which is a group from Ottawa. There's the uh, Rainbow Voices of Toronto, Forte, or the Toronto Men's Chorus, and also the Vancouver Men's Chorus. Tell us why it's important to distinguish gala and, and um, state right in your title that it's gay and, and lesbian uh, singers. Okay, well, that's a great question. And, you know, here in Canada, you have a very progressive and accepting government. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, you've legalized, you know, the right for gays and lesbians to marry last year. That's fantastic. Where I live, we have a president who wants to amend our Constitution and make that you know, impossible to happen. And so to be visible, to have gay or lesbian, you know, in your name and be out of the closet, that's really the biggest tool we have to fight discrimination like that. I mean, it's pretty hard to take away rights from your neighbor, from your coworker, or from your best friend. So we really feel that by singing, we're changing the world. That's a lovely way to do it. And thank you so much for coming in this morning. I know you guys, they have a grueling schedule while they're here in Montreal. There's a lot of performances. And if you'd like to find out more about um, a performance that you could catch up with, you can log on to their website at www.galacourses.org. And they also have a toll-free number, 1-866-842-2112. I believe that's the Place des Arts number. That's where some of the um, appearances take place. And thank you again for coming in this morning, Scott Pirro telling us about the gala choruses. And don't you go away. We'll be right back with more on This Morning Live.